Coach Cam Coach made this shit. Good afternoon. Welcome back to another edition of Bracket Racket. And this week, we have the one-hit wonders of the 2000s. Yes. Now, this is not our personal picks of it. We loosely base it off of BuzzFeed. I just went through the top 50 and in order picked the songs I was like, I either really like, they got to be on here, or just I didn't really know some of the other songs. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so this has anything from Chameleon Air to Cassie, which I put Jay Keon. Why did I autocorrect it to Jay Keon? I didn't think Afro Man was a one-hit wonder. Yeah. Um, what other song? Colt 45? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they should be on here. They They made it according to BuzzFeed. Yeah. So... I count it. Yeah. Two. I mean, they have two songs on Spotify that have over 100 million streams. Is that a lot? Because I Got High is not even their number one stream song. What is? Cold 45? Crazy Rap. Cold 45. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, That's an odd one. What? I said that is an odd one because that one is just a standout like... Almost feels like it doesn't fit, but... I didn't think Mario was either. I didn't either. Because doesn't he sing Let Me Love You? Oh, I think so. Yeah, because if that's Mario, that's kind of yeah. disrespectful. Yeah, that's uh, Mario's biggest song. 634 million streams on Spotify. Holy alone. shit. Yeah. He has two song. He has Who? one song that has more streams than Afro Man's top two songs combined. Yeah. What is the Mario song on here? Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't want to know. Maybe different Mario. That's why I was. That's why I was. I was like, yeah, a, I think it is. A, Mario's not a good rap name. Yes, that is a different Mario. And why are there so many Mario's rapping? I don't know. It's but, so. I mean, do the right thing. Go like uh, G Herbert's route and just <laughs> not use your name. But kind of use your name. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think G Herbert really hits the fucking same. <laughs> But, okay, so we have one that's kind of... Lips of an Angel by Hinder? Is Hinder a one-hit wonder? I don't know another song by Hinder. Oh, give me one fucking second, because I know it, but I don't... I don't know it. Hinder. Better than me. Are you fucking kidding me? You know it. By name alone, I don't, but I probably would if you played it, so... But, I mean... So a couple of these we don't think should necessarily be on here, but we're going to keep it for what it is. I like in order those two songs because it's the only two Hinder songs I have because Lips of an Angel is just basically him being like, man, I want to fuck my ex. It's Mm -hmm. the whole time he's like, I am in bed with my ex. I mean, with my girlfriend thinking about my ex. And then the next song is just him being like, you can do so much better than me. Yeah. Yeah. That's a cool one-two punch. Yeah. Maybe a really slimy way of breaking up with your girlfriend without <laughs> telling her you're cheating on her. Yeah. It's like, oh, I think we should break up. You you could do better than me. You you know what? That that's the only reason. But um let's not talk about Hinder's discography for too long and jump right into this. What is Hinder? Like I know you can like like hindering like something to That's to the only way I know. I don't know cuz I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's just, like, their name. Like, if that's one of the people in the band's name. Yeah, I don't know. But, whatever. Yeah. Um, all right, let, let's get to cracking. Um, first off, we have Me and You by Cassie um, versus the 16 seed Lips. Uh, Cassie was actually number one on this list. Like, it, it's not like I went down six spots before I finally found a song that I knew and liked. Mm-hmm. This was the true number one. Mm. The rest of these aren't really true to their number. Okay. But this is like the only one that's true to its actual fucking number. And okay. it's kind of crazy. Yeah. So I'm going to go off of voting on which one I think, which one I like more. Nowadays? I mean, just in general. Yeah, okay. Overall. Yeah. yeah. If I were to listen to them today, which one I like more is what I'm going to, Yeah. is how I'm going to vote here. Okay. Um, not the one that I think is more of a one-hit wonder. 
Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I yeah. agree with that. So my vote is pretty easy. Lives of an angel. Yeah, same. Now, in all fairness to me and you, I have never had a Hinder music video on my phone. Yeah. So yeah, I get that. it gets a point there. <laughs> but Lips of an Angel still fu- – not that me and you doesn't still slap. Yeah, going back and re-listening to it, it it's, it's good. good. Yeah, yeah, but Lips of an Angel, god damn. It's the – it's the – for me, it's like one of the best non-future route <laughs> ways of feeling like a complete scumbag and just kind of enjoying it, yeah. you know? You're not supposed to, but like, you kind of do, you yeah. know. So That's good. Lips and angel, let's move. Next up, um, now this is rough. The nine versus the eight seed. This is just World War Three starting right here. <laughs> Number nine, we have Rodden. Which, I always say Ryan Dirty. I don't like that the song's just called Ryden. Mm-hmm. So we have Ryan Dirty by Chameleon Air. Badass name. Versus the eight spot, which is Tipsy by Jay uh, Keon, apparently. It's supposed to be Jay Kwan, but. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Tipsy. I am, too. I think. You got to appreciate all the remixes he put on <laughs> to this. He was think... really Lil Nas X before yeah. Lil Nas X. <laughs> I just think that both of these songs are oddly, like, the weird um, songs that, like, are overplayed and now aged poorly. Like, I don't really like either for the same reason of just, like, I feel like I've heard them a billion times. And Tipsy's just a little less. Dude, the fucking chorus is so good. The kind goes the one, two, the three. Mm -hmm. It's so fun good. Uh, Chameleon Air, honestly... uh, Poor him. His song got fucking destroyed because of that fucking nerd. Yeah. yeah um, not Watsky, but Parody Watsky? I guess. We, uh, Weird Al. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, uh, yeah, he really fucked that song up for me because yeah, it's really cool. hard for me to hear this song without th- immediately thinking of that. White Nerdy? Yeah. What's, th- th- what's that Amish one he had? I thought it was pretty popular. I don't I don't know. Okay, yeah. So, Jaquan moves on. Yeah. Um, up next, it's Going Down by Young Jock versus Because I Got High by Afro Man. For me, it's it's Going Down. Yeah, same here. Um, now, if this was Colt 45, I don't think a lot of things in the world are stopping hmm. Colt 45 for me. No. Oh, it's wow. a good story. Yeah. He touches on racism, on uh, transgender Pretty wild. Mm-hmm. Drugs. You could go oh, one. I did. Yeah. I was just thinking that was Cold 45. <laughs> uh, the 13 spot, we have Lean Back by Terror Squad. Um, I did not know that was the name of the group. No. I just knew that Fat Joe, I, well, I thought, I thought that it, he was just Fat Joe's I did too. song. I thought it was Fat Joe's song. Yeah, because I had no idea who the fuck Terror Squad was. Uh, versus Absolutely, uh, or Story of a Girl by Nine Days. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't. I'm. There's not going to be many times that I'm like the Fat Joe song wins. Yeah, yeah. Rap's got a lot of one hit wonders, like a lot of the major one hit wonders. Yeah, I'd say that I, maybe like pop. I guess it makes sense. Maybe more in this era, it was like more rap heavy one hit wonders, but nowadays it seems like like pop or alternative shit, like like Gautier. Mm-hmm. That's like yeah. the one hit wonders. Yeah, yeah. This is my side. Uh huh. All right. Now we got "Crazy" by Gnarls Barkley and "Handlebars" by Flowbots. Yeah. Um. This comes down to which one's less annoying. Mm-hmm. And I, God, by the fucking narrows, I'm giving it to Crazy. Wow. Crazy's really annoying. And I, think, and I don't think it's that song's fault. I think it's because of how often it's used, where it's used, like Yeah. It it I think it got really fucking annoying. I think this one's not close. I think it's crazy by a lot. Yeah. Well, Flowbot uh, that handlebar sucks. Yeah, it really fucking it's sucks. It's a horrible song. But Crazy came out at a time in my life when I had no control over the radio mm-hmm. and my mom would just play whatever like 98.9 Kiss yeah. FM or whatever. Yeah. And it would just play this and like 
I'm uh, Miss Jackson, Boutcast. Mm-hmm. It made me resent that song for the longest fucking time. Yeah. So crazy. Next we have A Bay Bay by Hurricane Chris and Butterfly by Crazy Town. Has there ever been a hurricane named Chris? No way. That'd be so fucking good. Yeah. They're like the best pro well, probably not good promo, I guess, you know, but um What do you think? For me it's A Bay Bay. Yeah, I think I, I, I think yeah. the song "Butterfly" is like very annoying. Yeah, like, I don't know why, but that song is just like even just re-listening to it today, it was so fucking annoying. Like it's one of two songs, yeah. and the other one was already voted out. It's one of two songs I skipped that I was like, I cannot listen to this song. You know, the song I think's really fucking annoying nowadays. What I think it's about Sugar Ray. Do you know? Do you know what oh, I'm talking about? Shit. Yeah. Um. Uh, should, how'd you get so fly or something yeah, like that? I actually don't. Sugar, hate sugar, that. How'd you get yeah, so, I don't. I don't think, think it's song. annoying sounding. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't hate that song. Bad day by Daniel Powder or Stacy's mom by Fountain Wayne. I appreciate you reading this one off. You're welcome. You look busy. <laughs> um, Stacy's mom. Yeah, three hundred percent Stacy's mom. I actually don't dislike either of these songs. Yeah, I don't dislike Bad Day, but yeah. I do like. Stacy's mom. I have Stacy's mom saved on my phone versus I don't have Bad Day saved on my phone. Did you have somebody you thought of when you heard this song? I don't know if it was like, yes, kind of. And I think it's the same person. But yeah. y- yes, there is someone that stands out. Because that was a little bit later in my life. Because this song definitely came out when we was like in elementary school. Yeah, and right. I didn't know this person until like okay. middle school. Yes. So, yeah. but that, That's why I was kind of like iffy about it. I was like, not... Tech. Like when I first heard it, I was like, "Oh, I like the song." And then later, there was the yeah, like, oh, there's a connection yeah, there's a connection this. there. Yeah, yeah. Because at elementary school, my friends' moms are pretty fucking ugly. I also wasn't thinking about banging any of my friends' moms in elementary school. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So that's fair. <laughs> and last of the first round, this is why I'm hot by Mims, or I don't want to know by Mario Mims. Yeah. Um, and I'm going with. I think this is why I'm hot is an underrated fucking song. The beat switches and shit. Yeah, that's pretty hard. I think the beat is really good, and I can say that about a lot of the rap songs. On yeah, this. he fucking bounces from like east to west coast yeah. influence. Like I, I don't know. I feel like that song's underappreciated. Mm-hmm. So that's yours. Yeah, I'm going. I don't want to know. All right. As much as I love the production, I don't. Love you know what? Song. Yeah, I'll, I'll go over. Yeah, I'll just let you have that one because I do like I don't yeah. want to know okay cool round two start off we have Lips of an Angel by Hinder versus Tipsy by Jake One. Lips of an Angel pretty different moods you're going for there if I'm at a party I'm not going to lie I would still love to hear Lips of an <laughs> Angel that's that's my kind of party yeah there's only I don't a worry. very <laughs> specific mood that I'm going to listen to Tipsy. Yeah. Because the problem with playing something like Tipsy at a party is because from there uh, there on out, everybody's going to be expecting throwbacks. Yeah. Like, you can't yeah, that's go why. from Tipsy to, like, Drake. No. You know? You're just like, what are yeah. you doing, man? Unless it's, like, over. Yeah. It's the throwbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Up next, It's Going Down by Young Jock or Absolutely by Nine Days. Again, I don't different moods. Yeah, I honestly think I like it's going down more. I think Norbit really it's, made me like that song more, <laughs> dude. The Norbit soundtrack—it's not bad. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take that it. a step further. Yeah, I, say, I hate overhyping it, but yeah, I agree. it's pretty fucking good. There's not a lot of soundtracks where I know every song. And that one, if as long as it's just what you hear and they didn't add anything, then mm-hmm. yeah, I knew all of those fucking songs. Now we got Crazy by Norris Barkley and A Bay Bay by Hurricane Chris. Uh A Bay Bay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got Stacy's Mom by Fountain of Wayne going against I Don't Wanna Know by Mario. Again, two different 
two different things. I definitely listen to Stacy's mom more. Same. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, I'm going that. I actually this one's probably the hardest one so far. Yeah. For the right reasons. There's been a couple that's been difficult just because I don't like either, but this one this yeah. one's pretty close. But Stacy's mom is where is that? I just need a picture of Stacy's mom. Well, if it's the music video girl, then I get it. Mm-hmm. Stacy's mom was kinda banging. I need to see Stacy's mom. Maybe there's a music video for Jesse's girl, mm-hmm. but Jesse's girl's got to be pretty fucking bad. Yeah. And uh, Fiona from... Scotty Doesn't Know. Scotty Doesn't Know. Yeah, mm-hmm. I need to see Scotty's girl, I need to see Jesse's girl, and I need to see Stacy's mom. Yeah. Dream four-way, really. <laughs> Fuck, Mary kill. Just based off of what you heard, what you know. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to bang Stacy's mom... Marry Jesse's girl, and then kill Fiona. I don't like that. I, I you can't marry a girl named Fiona. Yeah, well, she's pretty actively cheating. I guess the best Mary would you be mean pretty actively. She did it on his birthday. <laughs> she yeah. skips church yeah. to bang this dude in a van. Yeah, yeah, no, she's horrible. Yeah. I love her, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I, my life would be better without her. She's definitely not the Mary. No. But if you marry Stacy's mom, Stacy's mom's probably the. She's best got her Mary. shit together. Yeah, Stacy's mom's probably the best Mary. Well, she probably doesn't have her shit together. She's, I guess, in talks with banging a younger. I don't know. That's not she, bad. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's yeah. not a. Yeah, she's just a milf. Yeah, I'm marrying Jesse's girl. Now I'm just banging the milf. You just you don't marry the milf. You know that's not as cool of a story it's unless not. they're like sugar mamas. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. So I'll, I'll just bang Stacy's mom. Yeah. So what Stacey did we go with? Stacey's oh, okay. <laughs> uh, to start off the final four, we have Lips of an Angel, the 16 seed, yeah. versus It's Going Down by Young Jock. This is Lips of an Angel. Yeah. Who do you think's winning that fight? Young Jock or If you Hinder? just listen to the songs, you're going to say Young Jock. But if you see Young Jock nowadays... Oh, I haven't, so... Oh, he's got, like, a comb-over. Like, a little toupee-looking comb-over. I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> but, yeah. That's that's Young Jock nowadays. I don't know what Hender even looks like, but I'm assuming he's kicking Young Jock's ass. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But the song's definitely better. Yeah. And then we got a Bay against Stacy's mom. Stacy's mom. Yeah. Yeah, I think a Bay won kind of by circumstance. I mean, it's not a bad song. It doesn't beat many songs on this list. No, but it, but it has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Championship. And, uh, what um, is this? What you thought was going to happen? I thought a rap song would make it. Oh yeah, it didn't, did it? Yeah. Stacey, what is Stacey's mom? Is that rock? Is that it, punk? Al- alternative, I guess. Yeah. Lips of an angel. I guess that's also yeah. alternative rock. I think so. Oh yeah. wow. One of the we brought it up earlier. Jesse's girl is technically country. When did we bring that up? We were talking about Jesse's girl just a minute it's ago. Country. It's country though. Yeah, what? it's considered country. I've always thought that was weird. It, that I, there is one line that I think of when you say that, and it makes sense. No, no, I'm thinking of a different song. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jesse is a friend. Yeah. <laughs> the way he kind of said, I guess. I don't but, think that makes it country right there. No. Um. But yeah, I've always thought that was weird because like when I really didn't like country, I was always like, oh, I like this song because it's not really country. So I would always be like, that's the best country song. That's the only reason I know that. It's really fucking weird. Yeah. But for me personally, it makes a lot of sense that Lips of an Angel is this far. Love that fucking song. I do not think it's going to run those numbers on social media. It might. It might not make it past the first round, dude. Really? On social media? You think people are fucking with me and you like that? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. It's kind of dependent, but um, yeah, yeah, I, I do, dude. Me and you slaps. Thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I could see it being the same. I could also see like Tipsy winning or something. I don't think Stacy's mom's going to make it that far. Yeah, I think that's kind of an us thing. I don't know. Because I, I honestly, overall, I think the two best songs on this 
overall not which ones I like the most or which ones I listen to the most is probably Lips of an Angel and I Don't Want to Know by Mario. I Don't Want to Know does slap. Yeah, I think those are the two like best songs. Yeah. Yeah, I I like that. But, but it's not up to them. It's, it's up not. to these two. And I think these are the only two songs before re-listening to them Yeah, that I had previously saved on my phone already. Yeah. So... You didn't have me and you? No. Yeah, I I do, but I fucking skip it every single time because I'm I'm just... I don't want to listen to it a lot. But if I hear either one of these songs, I'm like, you know what? I will take some time out of my day to listen to this. I have a lot of these songs on a playlist that's not saved. Oh, I definitely have Tipsy on here on my phone. I I genuinely like that song. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. What's the song that has Ludacris and Snoop Dogg? Holiday Inn? Is that what you're thinking of? Yeah, why isn't that on here? Is he not a one-hit wonder? Who's the main artist? Because if it's either of those, obviously not. Yeah. No, he, no, neither one of them are the main artist. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, don't, don't, I don't really care too much about yeah. that. Uh, what is your vote? My Robert? vote. We didn't really talk about the songs too much. We talked about everything else, but I get it. Yeah, these are scumbags of different levels. This yeah. is a grown scumbag, and this is a horny teenager who has a MILF thing. Yeah. Lips of an Angel is the winner for me. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. I kind of thought it would win. It's I knew we both liked that song. Rap, this is the rap age that you either love or hate a lot of times. This is the one that like really aged like poorly for you or you're kind of like oh it's just nostalgia so I like it I know it's supposed to be like a love it or hate it kind of thing but I'm genuinely like split down the middle because if you play just nothing but 2000s rap songs I'm going to hate a good amount of it but I'm going to love the other side of things yeah there's a there's a cool like mood to it that yeah I like but yeah I wasn't um Oh, dear Christ. Uh, baby, don't worry. You were um, my only. Um, Down? Yeah. Down by, I don't know the dude's name. Oh, I don't, name. Know, I don't know their name yeah, either. Yeah, but Lil Wayne's part, that is yeah. like one of the few songs I know <laughs> word for word. I know Lil Wayne's part. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's a good one for this list. Another one that I saw that uh, was on the list but didn't make the cut and I wasn't going to argue for it was Weedus's song um teenage dirtbag i think it's a pretty good example of a one-hit wonder but yeah. what am i subbing out here for that yeah exactly. even though i like it more than some of these songs my neck my back my neck my back is another one that i didn't know that was an actual song i genuinely didn't know that <laughs> yeah do you think by any chance handlebars will make it past the second round i don't think it'll be crazy but if it no. does do you think there's any chance it beats Either one of those songs? No. There's there shouldn't be a song on here that Handlebars beats. No. It is the worst. I don't I wouldn't like to think of our uh viewers as scumbags, but I mean hey. They can be. And that's been another week of Bragger Racket.